Good everyone and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. My name is Fred. All right, today we're going to be looking at conversion from orthographic projection to isometric projection. Now, in an examination setting, you would be required to draw an object in orthographic when given what? The isometric projection. So look at this L-shaped block, for example. This is the, ortho, uh, the isometric projection of the what? L-shaped block. One of the examples we treated earlier, and this is the word orthographic projection. Now, in an examination uh, setting, you would be given isometric to project in orthographic or orthographic to project in isometric. I hope that is clear. Now, to convert from orthographic into isometric, there are a few steps you can follow. Okay? All right, now, the first thing to do is, number one, draw an isometric box that will contain the, the objects to be drawn. Very necessary. Now, let's take, for example, this is an isometric box. All right? So, just make a sketch of the box, all right, of the objects to be drawn. Now, number two, draw the front elevation, end elevation, and plan on the surfaces of the box. Now, normally, if this is your X, your standing position, this is supposed to be your front elevation, end elevation, and plan, okay? So... The orthographic uh, drawing that you have been given, you will sketch, okay, the, the, the front elevation on the surface of the box here on this side, as in the front elevation of the box. The end elevation, you sketch it here, while the plan, you sketch it here, okay? It is very, very expedient you do a rough sketch, actually, before you do the main drawing, because it will guide you and know if you're making mistakes or not. Then finally... Where necessary, adjust and match the corresponding surfaces and sides to obtain what? The required object. Okay, quickly, I'm going to be uh, treating an example that we've done before. Now, let us assume this is a question, an examination question. All right? This is the orthographic projection in first angle of an object. Now, you are required to draw in what? In isometric so how do you go about that so i am going to use this box method to explain because i find it very very easy and simple to what apply when it comes to uh, questions that has to do with conversion from orthographic projection into isometric projection so the first thing you do is you just make a sketch with a thin line of a box now before then you should know that when drawing in isometric you should project your perpendicular line 90 degrees, your 30 degrees to the right and to the left, and you complete the box depending on the dimension that you've been given. All right. All right, now I hope you can see clearly. Okay, now look at this question, all right? Dimensions given. This is the front elevation of this particular object. Let us assume you do not know the 3D um, shape that has been drawn. You have to figure it out, okay? So this is the front elevation, the plan, and the end elevation. Now, before I start, let me clarify something. Now, um, you should know and understand that, for example, square, a square will appear as what? A rhombus in 3D. So, a square in 2D, for example, a square in 2D, as in, as in plane, all right? In 3D, if you want to draw it in 3D, okay, maybe it's, make, it's forming a part of an object, okay? It will appear as what? A rhombus. Do not forget that. All right? Then a rectangle in plane form will appear as what? A rhombus in 3D. Like this. Sorry, a parallelogram. A parallelogram, not a rhombus. All right? Something like this. Okay? But in real life, it is actually what? A rectangle. But because you are drawing in three dimensions, it will appear like this. Then the same thing happens to a circle. So a circle in plane form will appear as what? An ellipse in 3D when you are trying to draw in three dimensions. Okay? So have these three at the front of your mind. All right? So let's, move, uh, let's go back to our question. So this is the question here. Now you are required to draw in what? In isometric. So what you do is that you make a rough sketch of it. But now this is not drawn to dimension. This is just for illustration purpose. Now, this is my box that will contain this object to be drawn, all right? This orthographic to be drawn, all right? So, now, look at my front elevation. Remember I told you 
for the fact that the front elevation is looking like this doesn't mean you have to uh, draw it maybe something like this. No, it's not possible. Like I told you, objects, sorry, plane, like the rectangle, the square, they will appear as what rumble, so they will be slant because they are not in 3D. You are seeing them in 3D now. So this front elevation, you just make a rough sketch here. So there we have it. So you see this front elevation now? It's what I've drawn here. Okay, the front elevation. Here it is. Okay, so I will draw the plan in the in the what in the position of the plan. Okay, so there you are. This is the plan. All right, plan. All right, this is the plan here in 3D now. All right. Okay, so the end elevation in place of the end elevation. Okay, so that's the end elevation. All right. Now, please do not forget that this is a rough sketch. You have to do this first, okay? Now, you have all front elevation plan and end elevation in their positions. Now, you now work with all uh, elevations, like the front elevation, the plan, and the end elevation. Now, from here, you know, although this part here from the plan, it's appearing uh, as it is on the same level with this part okay but from the front elevation you know this part is depressed this one here now you know it is what somewhere here is depressed it's not actually here but from the plan it, it looks like it is on what the same level the same plane all right with this one but the truth is this one is actually depressed from the from the front elevation i cannot i can notice that all right so what do you do you move over here because this is what we're talking about now all right this part is actually not here not on the same level with this one all right it is somewhere here so what do you do you adjust this one down so in other words let me just do something here this is actually supposed to be somewhere here somewhere here all right this is just a rough sketch all right so this kind of uh, rectangle here is not actually supposed to be here because from the front elevation it is down here so i will move it from here all right i will move it from here okay down here so this is it here now okay all right now from the end elevation now remember let's assume this one is still complete all right now, from my front elevation again, I know that this part is not on what same level with this one. They are not on same level. It is actually where? Somewhere here. So, it is inside. So, this thing that is appearing as if it is uh, the same level as this one. No, it is actually what? Inside, like inside the drawing sheet. Do you understand? Like, this one is out, while this other part is what? Inside. Something like this. Do you understand? So, from the elevation, I could do that. So, this part actually is not here, okay, but it's actually where? Here, okay, not here, but here. That's this part now. So I will move this part here. So I have it there, okay. So this part here now, I have moved it here. So I will erase. So you can see that I have my object, my L shape block, okay. So, but this is a very simple question. Let us try our hands on something that looks a little bit more complex. Now, you have this question in your PDF notes. All right. Now, this is the elevation, the plan, and the end elevation of an object. You are required to draw in isometry. Isometric uh, projection. All right. So, what do you do? The same principle you apply. Now, I've made the rough sketch of a box. Now, this is not drawn to scale, please. It's just for illustration reasons. All right? It's not drawn to scale, but just follow the process. All right? So, what do I do? I will draw the front elevation here. I will draw the plan here. Okay? And the end elevation here. Now, this is a rough sketch. By the time I'm done with it and uh, the, the real object is out, then I will now what? Uh apply dimensions to drawing the what the real object now do not waste time in doing this 
okay this, this shouldn't take you more than two minutes okay max five minutes just to get the 3d object before you now start drawing this is very very key because you will know if you are on the right track or not all right okay so here we go now i have all parts drawn on the box this is the front elevation you can see it all right drawn here the same thing all right then the end elevation all right drawn here and the plan okay this plan now drawn here all right so that's the plan okay so what do we do next we'll now make adjustment all right so we match now first of all uh, when it has to do with objects with hidden detail you know in 3d you can't see broken lines as in hidden details are not supposed to be shown in isometric okay so what you do is you will what uh get rid of the three oh sorry you will get rid of what the hidden details but before you do that you must match it to the path so uh you don't make mistakes so let us start now let us consider the the plan first okay now this is the plan now i know that although this part of the plan uh, uh is appearing as if it's on same level as what this top here but from the elevation i know that this part which is this part is not actually on top here no like as you can see from the plan but it's somewhere where down here not here do you understand so this part you are seeing here now it is not actually here it is down here then i would also like to bring your attention to something very important now there's something called drawing sense okay or you're using your discretion now there are some uh 3d objects you would draw okay uh you should know that some parts will definitely disappear because of what the way the object uh is looking like at the moment for example now if i want to draw this now here you don't expect me to what draw it all the way down because it's supposed to be something like this actually right this one here now we'll move it down but the object will obstruct it do you understand this object here the 3d object will actually what obstruct it so you won't see the complete uh kind of parallelogram this one you have here you won't see it there so you transfer it there and you have something like this so you're actually supposed to draw something like this to complete what you have on top here but you can't why because the object is what obstructing the back you can't see the back from here and we do not show hidden details in what in 3d so what have we done we have succeeded in moving this part down so you, you get rid of this part we don't need it anymore okay so actually this box can leave so this part of the box can leave so there we are so we are moving gradually now still on the plan now remember hidden details are not to be shown now let us go to the move to the front all right sorry the end elevation look at this part of the end elevation this rectangle here all right i mean this one all right so there is a hidden detail obviously you know it is this back from the front elevation plan and end elevation it is this back here viewing from the front is actually is actually what you're seeing as hidden details so we have already drawn it here all right so we don't need it in the drawing actually so we are left with what the rectangle now this rectangle here it's uh from the end elevation it is appearing as if it is on same level as what this part here but from the front elevation it's not true it's actually somewhere here so but from the end elevation it's appearing as as if it is somewhere here i don't know if you understand okay but it's actually somewhere here so what does that tell you from the 3d view so this part is actually this part is actually not there but here that is here do you understand so you move it in so if we are moving it in you know this is what a rectangle kind of so that means we we'll move this whole rectangle now somewhere here rectangle but Remember, again, it's a 3D object, so you won't see part of it. You understand? 
so you only see you see this part definitely here all right so this line now here then this one we stop here it can't proceed because uh, the object is what blocking or obstructing the what uh, the other part so actually this you're seeing here will be somewhere here but you can't see it then now moves down here so this is what you have then you now erase the part you have moved you erase the part you have moved all right so we are headed somewhere okay so what next now obviously you can see that there is what there is an opening here from the end elevation from the front elevation you can't see that opening sorry from the front elevation you can't see that opening because it's, it's inside that's why they are represented with what with hidden details okay so this opening you're seeing here from the end elevation from the front elevation you can't see so this is the opening here you understand so this is telling us that this opening they are corresponding you understand so these hidden details is actually represented by what uh, this opening here so you get rid of it all right now again this hidden detail yet uh, your drawing sense coming uh, comes into play here again so actually you know this is an opening and you know it will have edges you understand there'll be an edge you can't see the edge from here you can't see it from here you can't see this one from here because the object is blocking, but you can definitely see this one. So all you have to do is transfer the lines there and draw to you end somewhere there. Okay? Telling you that there is what? An opening inside. I hope that's clear. Okay? So you get rid of this one. Now, this, uh, what's it called now? Uh, hidden detail again. It's represented by what? This part here. So this part, you can't see from here. From the front elevation, you can't see. So... We have already drawn that. So you get rid of this what hidden details. Again. Leaving the object like this. Then now, moving over to the plan again now. Alright. We know that this part here, from the plan, uh, it's as if it's on same level again. You understand? But from the end elevation, it is not. This is actually like uh, a gully, a gutter. Sort of. You understand? Uh, it's a little bit depressed okay so this part here is what depressed here so it's not actually on top here it is somewhere here because there are dimensions that is five so five down five down you actually have this kind of rectangle you are seeing here is actually here somewhere here but remember again your drawing sense will tell you that you can't see part of it so you have it somewhere here okay remember drawing sense your drawing sense should tell you that both sides should correspond okay they will look alike all right then this one move this way now i'm supposed to go all the way but i can't see this part again because the object is obstructing so you leave it that way all right so we settled this part erase this uh lines so we settle this part okay so there we go. All right. So finally, you can see this hidden detail here. From the plan, it's actually this um, opening here. This opening. So from the plan, you can see this opening from the plan. If you trace it up, that is why you're having these hidden details there. So you get rid of the hidden details. All right. You don't need them there. Then finally, there is another hidden detail here. This one. Okay, actually represented by what? This part here, this part underneath. Here, okay, that you can't see from the plan, you can't see this. Okay, so you get rid of it, hidden details. So there you have your object. Now you've already done isometric in first term. So you use uh, your knowledge of isometric to project the object in isometric, then dimensioning, very important, you dimension. And so you have your 3D object.